Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will discuss the Advanced Stored Artillery Gun System. In a significant development, the Cabinet Committee on Security has approved a Rs 7,000 crore deal for the procurement of 307 howitzers. These state-of-the-art artillery guns, designed by the Armament Research and Development Establishment of TRDO, will be manufactured by two leading Indian private sector companies, Tata Advanced Systems Limited and Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited. This approval marks a major milestone for India's military-industrial complex, reinforcing the country's push for self-reliance in defence manufacturing. The journey of the ATAGs has been challenging, but the collective efforts of various stakeholders have ensured progress toward the common goal of equipping India with a next-generation artillery gun. Development began in 2013 with the aim of having the gun ready by 2017. That year, it was proudly showcased during the Republic Day Parade and even used for the 21-gun salute to the President. Later in 2017, the gun underwent extensive trials, including high-altitude and mountain mobility tests in Sikkim, followed by desert trials in Pokhran, demonstrating its versatility across diverse terrains. Given the diverse and demanding nature of Indian Army operations, weapon systems undergo extreme winter and summer trials to ensure reliability in harsh conditions. Prolonged exposure to severe cold or intense heat can significantly alter a weapon's metallurgy, making traditional data-based preventive maintenance less effective. To address this, the Indian Army subjects its hardware to rigorous testing. Prolonged winter trials in high-altitude mountainous terrain and extensive summer trials in the scorching desert. These tests help validate the durability, functionality and adaptability of the equipment under real-world operational conditions. The journey toward the induction of ATAGs has been far from smooth. In 2020, the program suffered a major setback when the barrel of one unit burst during testing in Rajasthan, just as the gun was nearing the completion of its trials. Prioritizing safety and reliability, the development team decided to halt further tests and conduct a thorough analysis of the failure before proceeding. After identifying the cause and implementing necessary modifications, the gun was reintroduced for testing, nearly completing its evaluation once again. While the setback was frustrating for many, it was a crucial learning experience, allowing the team to study the impact of design changes under various conditions and ensure the gun's long-term performance and safety. DRDO, Tata and Kalyani handled the setback with professionalism, avoiding blame games and instead focusing on identifying and rectifying the issue. Rather than questioning quality control, they remained committed to refining the system. The Indian Army also displayed maturity by not succumbing to unnecessary criticism. Meanwhile, media reports speculated that the Artex project had been sent back to the drawing board, even suggesting alternatives like the Athos 2052. However, the Army remained unfazed by such speculation and the manufacturers refrained from reacting impulsively to media narratives. The criticism was short-lived and ultimately dismissed as all stakeholders remained focused on the larger goal. This is just the beginning for this gun. Under the broader towed gun system program, the Indian Army plans to procure additional variants to enhance its artillery capabilities. A lighter version of this gun is already in development with limited series units currently in production for testing. As we speak, a mounted variant integrated onto a 8x8 high mobility vehicle is undergoing trials to evaluate its battlefield effectiveness. Looking ahead, the Army intends to acquire a significantly larger number of mounted artillery systems, alongside 400 TGS guns. In this category, the lighter ATAGS variant and the Dhanush 52 will compete for selection, shaping the future of India's long-range firepower. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe to the channel for more updates. See you next time.